This video will walk through how to export ASCII points and data from SmartWorks Viva software. This video applies to SmartWorks Viva and SmartWorks Viva LT, so both the blue and the orange version of SmartWorks, as well as the Leica iRover system. All right, in the field, we've finished collecting our data. We've uh, got a job called Traverse here, and as you can see in here, I have some points. Uh, they've got northing, eastings, elevations. Some of them will even have codes on them. Uh, some have line work. Here's point codes that are going to go for each one of these. So what we want to do is we want to create our ASCII file for import into our basic CAD software. So to do this, what we'll do is have our active job traverse. I'm going to go to jobs and data. We'll go to export and copy data. We're going to choose export ASCII data. Now, the first choice we get is where we want to actually put the ASCII file itself. So in this case, I'm just going to put the ASCII file in the root of my SD card. So that way I'm not in the data directory, I'm just right in the root of the card so it's easy to get to. I get to choose the name that I want to use for it, and by default I'm going to choose the coordinate system. So in this case I did do some GPS work, so I want to make sure that I'm using the current coordinate system on this. Now, the example is what the data is going to look like as it comes out. And in this case I have codes, and we want to put those on. So to get to the codes I press the config button, and here I get to decide how I want to set up the information. So the file is comma separated, I do want that. First one is point ID, that's good. Second one, easting, we really want northing there. So I want northing and then easting. So I want point number, northing, easting, elevation. Um, and after elevation, we'd like to put our point code. But there's a feature we've got a point code information as well. Um, so you may have a spot where you want code and code info, so the two are slammed together without any space between them. Or you might want code and then code info with comma between them. In this case, I didn't use the code information field, so I'm just going to say code to get that directly. So now I've got point number, northing, easting, elevation, code. When I say OK, you'll see that this updated to PNEZ and code. Another item we want to check is the filter button. What this will allow us to do is to set which points are actually going to come out. And by default, what I have shown in my point list now is the points are going to come out in time, so as I measure them, no matter what the point numbering is, and by the class, so only the highest triplet will show. If I wanted every possible measurement I did, I could say no filter, but then I'd get multiples of the same point number. In most cases, that's not what we want. We want the highest class, which will mean if it's a control point, we'll only get the control value. If it's a measured, we'll get the measured or average, whichever is higher. So I'll say OK. So here we get to decide what our file name is that we're going to write. And in this case, it's going to be traverse.txt. So I will press OK, and it exported our data. Do we want to do any more? No. So we're done, and we now have a file on our computer that we're looking for. So on our computer, I'm going to jump over to where our SD card is. And here you can see in the root, I now have a file called Traverse. And when I click on it here in Windows 7, you can see my data over here on the side. You can see that it is by point number, northing, easting, elevation, right there, and code at the end if there is one. And that's all there is to exporting ASCII data. For more information, please visit the rest of our videos here on the YouTube channel for Leica Geosystems, as you can see above, as well as visiting our website at leica-geosystems.com, where you can find information on all of our products. If you already own Leica equipment, please register it at myworld.leica-geosystems.com. There you can find all the up-to-date software, information, manuals, and codes for all of the equipment you already have, as well as some fleet management services for you and your company. Thank you, and see you next time.